guys and welcome to Upfront Gaming News and here we are week 16 so we're in to our uh, fifth month now um, well at least going forward so um, here's it, there's a lot today but it's a lot of little stuff so this video should be a little bit shorter um, however as usual we'll start it off with PlayStation and uh, the biggest release this week is My Time at Porsche. So go ahead and enjoy the trailer and we'll go from there. Check it out, guys. <laughs> So that was my time at Porsche. It looks pretty interesting, kind of an RPG slash builder um, twist. So uh, I might get my hands on it. We'll see. Um, so let's dig into PlayStation's news for the week. So Epic Games hired a co-founder of Infinity Ward and Respawn, Jason West. Um, they hired him to work on their game development efforts. Uh, they must be looking to extend their success with Fortnite on a new title. Uh, no mention as to what they're working on, but with Jason West involved, is behind the creation of titles like Call of Duty. Um, it's more than likely going to be something big. Uh, so look forward to whatever it is that they're going to be coming out with in the near future with Jason West on board. Um, PlayStation Gear Spring Sale is live until the 23rd of April. Um, you can head to the PlayStation Store and click on the corresponding page to see what's available. This is everything from games to uh, gear, light up, PlayStation novelty, stuff like that. Um, and it's, again, available until the 23rd of April, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, like I said, this video is uh, going to be a little bit shorter. Um, and that's it for PlayStation. So let's dive into Xbox. Xbox is released this week is World of Warships Legends. Again, this is a cross-platform as my time at Porsche is. But uh, check out the trailer and go from there. Fight like a legend. The sea monsters. Take command. World of Warships Legends. Go legendary or go home. So that was World of Warships Legends. Uh, World of Warships has always been really uh, intriguing. They do have a long-standing series that is now coming to the console. So um, it should be interesting to play on console and experience. And again, that's multiple platforms. Uh, it's on PlayStation and Xbox for sure. Not so sure about Switch. They generally come out later um, than the other two. Um, so in Xbox news, inside Xbox uh, on 416 has the latest upcoming E3 information. So if you want information on E3 prior to E3's arrival in June, then you can go check that out at, on the 16th, which will be this Tuesday uh, at 2 p.m. And that's on YouTube, 
uh, as well as several different Xbox um, media outlets. Uh, Microsoft Spring Sale is live as well. Um, that's until April 22nd, and it's holding more than 500 deals. So go check that out online or at uh, retail locations. Again, that's uh, more gear, games, etc. Anything you can think of, Xbox is in that sale in some way, shape, or form. It may not be entirely what you're looking for, but it may be worth a look. Uh, they were talking about 65% off of a lot of things that are in that spring sale. So uh, go check that out on the Xbox Live store or, uh, again, retail locations or online at Microsoft.com. All right. So moving on into Nintendo. Again, short week, guys. Um, Wasteland 2 Director's Cut is their release. So let's go ahead and watch that trailer. was Wasteland 2 director's cut that comes out on the 16th so Tuesday as well and that's going to be more of a uh, top-down old-school RPG element uh, but it looks really good it is a uh, return from the original creator of Fallout um, so ought to be interesting if you're looking for something like that in your repertoire uh, you can go ahead and grab that on Tuesday so um, Let's jump into the rest of Nintendo's news. Uh, Grid Autosport might be receiving a re retail release date on the Switch. Um, there's been live box art and uh, a placeholder put in for certain websites that show Grid Autosport for Nintendo Switch. However, there is no release date or any other official information at this time other than that box art being live. So um, that being said, we're probably looking at at least a few months before um, its release. However, it is it is there, the placeholders in place. We know it's going to hopefully uh, arrive. However, there's no guarantee as it might be something that they put in place to be seen but may not actually come to fruition but there is hope because there's very slim pickings when it comes to any actual racing games for the switch so um, hopefully it comes out and if you like the grid games uh, grid's been really good at least every single one that I've played um, I would say go ahead and grab that when it comes out and we'll let you know if we come across any release date or anything of that nature in the near future. So, last piece of news for Nintendo, the demand for Apex Legends on Switch has not cemented anything for release. Uh, they're very well aware that Switch players would love Apex Legends to come out and have stated that if they in fact were working on a release for Nintendo Switch, 
they would be posting it everywhere and making it known worldwide. So at this time, there is no intention uh, to put it on the switch. So um, that being cleared up and knowing the demand, there probably is going to be something eventually. But again, Switch seems to be a little bit behind when it comes to a lot of the mainstream non-Nintendo titles as being on their release calendar. So there's no telling when we'll see a release of Apex Legends on Switch, but um, with the demand and the uh, fans of Apex Legends who own Switch and are calling for it, they may be pushing the publisher in the right direction to release it on Switch in the future. So look out for that. Again, we'll touch on it as we see any new news on it, but uh, that is it for Nintendo. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, push the link if you feel like it deserves it. We're definitely looking forward to more subscribers and being able to expand the channel and make things a little bit better um, as we go forward. So, um, again, like, subscribe, and by all means, leave comments below if you had anything in this video that hit your little heartstring and made you want to uh, say something to us, or if you see anything that we need to improve, by all means, let us know in the comments below. And it's been a great week, and we're moving into month five here at Upfront Gaming News. And we hope to bring you nothing but the best and more news going forward. We are at the mid-month. However, we haven't really decided what we're going to do for our end of the month yet. I, I think uh, what we're honestly going to do is probably Mortal Kombat uh, initial review. We'll only have our hands on it for about eight days by the time we reach the end of the month. However, uh, that being said, it may be a very, very good uh, move to make when it comes to our end of the month video. I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I'm looking forward to how they flesh this out, and I'll definitely play plenty of it in that seven to eight days to give that review. So that may be our end of the month. However, Days Gone comes out shortly after, and we may be at a turning point there. I think what we may do is Mortal Kombat 11 at the end of this month, and then we'll do a full-on review of Days Gone next month uh, with maybe some more information in regards to E3 or the new systems coming out based on what, get, what comes out in the month of May. But that being said, we'll see in a couple weeks. All right, guys, um, tune in next week where we'll have the entire news for all three systems again next week in week 17 so uh again thank you for tuning in like subscribe comment and we'll see you next week have a good one guys bye